this video we're going to talk about permanent split capacitor motors or PSC motors. Permanent split capacitor motor is a single phase induction motor that uses a single run capacitor in series with the start winding for the motor's entire operation. It doesn't use a centrifugal switch or a relay to switch off any capacitors or windings. Current flows through the run winding, the start winding, and the run capacitor during the motor's entire operation. So that run capacitor stays in the circuit through the entire operation of the motor. Uh, if we look at our wiring diagram here, look at the one without the start assist, we can see that run capacitor is tied in with the start and the main winding. One thing about permanent split capacitor motors are sensitive to changes in the voltage because they do not have a start capacitor. A 5 to 10% drop in applied voltage will cause starting difficulty and overheating. Uh, to prevent damage, a thermal overload protector has been added to the motor that will open in case there is a problem with anything. One of the key things to identifying one of these motors is the run capacitor. If I see a motor, it's got two brown wires coming out of it, or a brown wire with a white and another brown wire, or the run capacitor. Remember, run capacitors, very low microfarads. Usually they're oval in shape. I know that that is a PSC motor because that is your permanent split capacitor. You'll see these in a lot of furnaces on the blowers. Uh, data plate on this one, it is a six horse power, 1,075 RPM. Amps are a little higher on these now. We got 2.2 amps. So as the motor gets a little bigger, does a little more work, we're gonna add a little more amp draw. This motor is reversible, uh, which is achieved by just changing one wire. Give you a little better view of that. So you can just switch a uh, wire around, you can change the rotation on that motor. So a little beefier motor, um, a lot of them have multiple speeds. This is just a single speed, but um, many of the ones you'll see in a furnace will have a high, a low, a medium speed on there. So, But the easiest way to identify a permanent split capacitor motor is the run capacitor mounted right to it. Sometimes they're not mounted to it, but if you see two brown wires coming out, brown wires usually indicate a capacitor. So if you follow those, um, generally you'll find the capacitor and you will see that that is a run capacitor. So it would be a permanent split capacitor.